Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Wednesday the 23rd of October 2019 and today we've produced two video podcasts. The one published this morning was a Brexit update and we placed a link in the description box below. This one, which is relatively brief, compares how well gold has performed in recent years compared with equities. So let's investigate. The performance of gold bullion is often compared to stocks as different investment vehicles. Gold is regarded by some as a store of value without growth, whereas stocks are regarded as a return on value, that is growth from anticipated real prices, plus dividends. But these descriptions are far too simple, and also with stock markets close to near all-time highs and interest rates falling, the risk and cost of holding gold comparatively becomes smaller when compared with alternative interest-bearing asset classes. So let's take a look at gold prices since 1970 and compare them with the performance of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Those of you who viewed our video yesterday entitled Is Gold an Effective Hedge Against Inflation will be fully aware of this table where we show the price of gold from 1970 in five-year tranches until today. What we've done in this brief video outtake, which we shall show you in a second, is to overlay it with the performance of the Dow Jones Index over a similar period. So, taking a look at gold price and the Dow Jones from 1970, you can see here, uh, this was the chart we showed yesterday, uh, the, we can see gold started off at $34, and at the time, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was 4,924. Now, the it, Dow Jones figures here don't relate specifically to these days, but the average for the month of October, save two of them because we couldn't get the figures exactly in sufficient time. 1984 and 1989 we've taken the September figures not for any other reason other than the fact the October ones weren't immediately available and the November ones and the September ones were very close anyway so there wasn't a dramatic difference between those two months so we've used the September figures so looking at this we can see that going from 70 to 74 gold actually went up 355 percent at the same period the Dow Jones fell by 32%. Then gold rose by 149 and the Dow fell by 17 Then gold fell by 12% and the Dow actually went up by 2%. Gold went up by 8 and the Dow shot up by 87%. These are over five-year periods. Gold then proved up 7% on the previous five years. And the Dow was up 21%. Then gold fell 18%. And the Dow was up 144. But then gold rose by 30% and the Dow was down. Gold rose considerably and the Dow was down. And then we had a period from 2014 where both gold went up and so did the Dow. So it's very difficult with not having more data put into this equation. But the broad image that one gets in the main is that... When gold goes up, you find equities have to some degree fallen. And when gold goes down, you find that equities have risen. The difference has been since 2014. However, equities have risen quite more than gold between 14 and 19. So we then thought, OK, there's no point working out inflation because the, the, the figures would work out similarly. But if we take a look at the price of gold as of the 18th of October, which was 1487, it's only about $10 difference now, today, with the price it was in 1970. We can see that gold has risen by 4,273%. And over the same period, the Dow has risen by 443%. But gold was particularly low then, so we decided to look at the figures from 74, 
because broadly speaking, we thought that was a better uh, assessment period. So with gold at $155 compared to $1487, that is a rise here of 859%. And if you take the same period for the Dow on this in 97, and you compared it to the October Dow 26770, you'll find that the Dow has gone up by 700%. So gold has actually, over that period of time, outperformed the Dow Jones Index. And bearing in mind, in fairness, as of today, we're looking at gold, admittedly some $400 of its all-time high, and the Dow at some, what, 200 points of its all-time high. So they're not sort of considerably away from their all-time highs. It's not as if the Dow was plummeting to, to its bottom and gold was rising to the top. So they're not quite equidistant. The point is, and this reflects what we said yesterday, that gold has proven to be a good hedge against inflation. And it's also showing itself to be a good uh, investment, if you want to call it that. We don't like using that word, but certainly a good place to put your money, even compared to equities. Now, of course, that said, over the past five years, or 10 years, gold has gone up 38%, and of course, equities have gone up over 100 But then if you go back the previous 10 years, gold has risen 182%, and equities were down 32%. So there are intervening periods where equities surpass gold, and gold surpasses equities. If we're looking since 1970, gold is by far the winner. If we look at 1974, then gold is still the winner. Now, we haven't worked out all of the others, but since gold was up in 1979, compared to there, you'll probably find that that's a winner too. Now, we said this would be a brief video, and as you can see, that the Dow Jones versus gold has performed better recently, but not over the longer term. Now, it has to be said, however, that we haven't taken into account dividends, which, of course, will have a positive impact on equity performance. And so, in truth, the comparison of gold is not so favourable. But in index terms, the picture is relatively clear. Because, of course, if you hold equities, then you will receive dividends. Naturally, if you invest directly in the Dow Jones Index per se, you use a tracker fund or something of that nature, then that doesn't quite apply. So what is your opinion about equities moving forward? Do share your thoughts. And if you haven't watched either our gold inflation hedge video of yesterday or our Brexit update of today, then please do so. And as already mentioned, we've placed links in the description box below. Finally, please also do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And pop over to illuminatisilver.com and join our inner sanctum. Tomorrow... And Friday, we have some silver and gold videos to present to you. So please watch out for them. Thank you for listening. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also, kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. Music